you and have to excuse me, I'm a bit of a mess. I've really fucked up. So just chatting about something and then um, I've spent the last like hour and a half trying to import it and it's just not working. I've realized I had the video on slow-mo. So I was talking for about 10 minutes and you can imagine slow-mo for 10 minutes, quite a big file. And obviously when I import it, it's not gonna work. So <laughs> oops. Um, so I'm going to try and refilm it now and just talk about what I was talking about earlier. You'll have to excuse me, I'm an absolute mess because I had to wash my hair because I had a headache and that helps me. I have a, head a, oh, have a headache. Um, and I was talking about the situation in supermarkets at the moment with everything going on with people either in isolation or just general social distancing. There is a lot of panic buying and a lot of stockpiling going on. UK supermarkets are um, implementing a rule, like a limit on certain items you can buy on a lot of items now, actually. Um, it's either one or two per customer. Um, apparently, I have already encountered that this is not working. People are just getting around it by going to the supermarket with a few people and then you can buy one each, which is ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> now, Oh, we do just woken up. Um, the other, so this morning, so some of the supermarkets have, um, oh my God. So some of the supermarkets have to try and help people that are elderly and vulnerable that A, should be isolating or social distancing um, and B, maybe struggling to get the items in the supermarket. So they uh, put an hour aside in, um, that is specifically for them. Yesterday, Sainsbury's did it upon opening, so it was seven to eight. Tesco's are doing it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, between nine and 10. And I think today was the first day of Sainsbury's doing it because they announced it Wednesday afternoon. No, Tesco's doing it, sorry. Uh, Tesco's and Sainsbury's are the two main supermarkets in the UK, if you didn't know that. Um, so I've run out of a few things. I've run out of milk because I have, I have IBS and Basically, if I drink dairy milk, I get the shits. And considering the fact that you can't buy loo roll anywhere, that's not a great idea right now. Oh my God, I'm so pissed off at myself for not doing the right fucking video because I could have been editing it right now and then it could have gone up. Oh my God, I'm such a wanker. So, right. What was I saying? Yeah, so I needed some milk. And Edie and I, obviously, because we both have health conditions that mean... Um, we need to be isolating, not isolating, social distancing. Because um, isolating is if you're showing symptoms. Um, and uh, we both have, Edie has, uh, we both have asthma. Edie has had, we've, again, we've both had lots of chest infections. Edie was born with kind of problems breathing, as I've talked about. Um, so it's very important for her that she's kept safe um, and that she's kept away from people right now and away from the virus. Um, so we went this morning at nine o'clock um, and the first warning sign was the fact, oh, what I should mention is I'd already seen on Facebook that people that had tried to go to Sainsbury's yesterday on opening, within 15 minutes, the supermarket was wiped out. So bear in mind that these are sp supposedly elderly and vulnerable people going, supermarkets wiped out in 15 minutes. Um, so we went at nine o'clock this morning and usually the supermarket opens at six. It's actually usually 24 hours, but at the moment it's opening at six. And I'd read that on the days when it's opening at nine for the elderly and vulnerable, it will be opening at nine so that we're the first to get in. That obviously didn't happen. The supermarket was, like the car park was full. Um, I had to drive around to be able to get a disabled spot. Um, and when I, as I was kind of going in, I had with me Edie's inhaler. So they knew if they kind of asked for proof that we needed to get in and my disabled badge <clears throat> uh, there was no one at the door stopping us just everyone was going in and it was mental my heart was going like this i have anxiety social anxiety social anxiety is one of them and crowds and people being aggressive and that kind of environment i don't deal well with it so i went in and it was just choco lock it was awful and you know 20% of the people were elderly um if that so um obviously you can't tell if someone's vulnerable but it was just packed with every type of person um 
and it was completely wiped out. There was nothing there. I couldn't get uh, the milk that I usually have. I managed to get another one, uh, which was twice the price. And that's the other thing, like people are wiping out the really, the cheapest stuff. Um, so for example, last week, I normally spend three pound 50 on my washing tablets. I had spent eight pounds for the same amount, um, but it was, you know, over double the price. And to me, that is a day's worth of food for me and Edie. Um, I am on a very low budget because I'm a single mum um, and I'm a, I'm a disabled single mum and it's getting to the point where the, I'm spending almost twice as much. I, or the last few weeks I've been spending almost twice as much because people are buying the cheap shit. It's, uh, it's getting tough. So yeah, I couldn't get what I needed to get. There were elderly people um, crying in the aisles because they couldn't get what they needed. And obviously they'd, they probably felt like this was a safe time for them to go um, because they're being told by the government to stay inside and then be told by the supermarkets, okay, this time is for you. So they go expecting it to be safe. And it, you know, <laughs> supposed to be two meters apart. Um, it was completely rammed and I just started, I started crying and I left. Um, I couldn't get what I needed to get. Um, I did manage to get some anti spray, but again, the spray that I'd normally spend like 75p, it was three pounds. And there was only one and I found it abandoned somewhere. So that's, the whole, the shelf was wiped out. It was an abandoned one. So it's, it's worrying me because I'm thinking I've got enough food for now. I've got a freezer full of kind of food that I've cooked, but it needs some stuff to go with it. For example, I've got pasta sauces and that sort of thing in the freezer, but Edie needs pasta with her pasta sauces I, I basically i need pasta for her um i've got enough for about a week and then things are going to start to get really difficult um that's making me very anxious that's making me very worried as a parent as a person and selfishly as someone with an eating disorder because you know there are safe foods that i'm i have well, it's hard it's hard it's hard i know it's hard for everyone um but it's hard so this is kind of the video that i filmed earlier and i'm really 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 hoping this isn't slow-mo i should check it's okay it's not slow-mo that's fine i'm happy with that so yeah um i'm gonna go and get Edie up now and we're gonna have a little play we might go and get some fresh air in the garden or something so uh, i will speak to you soon bye